Did you know that every day 27,000 trees are chopped down just for toilet paper? What? And most people don't talk about toilet paper and we don't really think about it, but today we're gonna figure out what the best eco-friendly toilet paper is out there so that we can upgrade our toilet paper that's best for our bodies, our planet, and our pocketbook. And the softest. <laughs> In 2020, we decided to upgrade all the basics in our life. So we started looking at, do you remember what we did first? Yeah, like dishwasher Eco soap. Eco-friendly laundry detergent. And this is project number two. And ironically, I started working on this in February and I ordered a ton of different toilet papers, um, which was very fortunate when there was a shortage. Why should we be talking about toilet paper? Because it's gross. <laughs> because 7,000 trees get chopped down every day. No, 27,000 trees get chopped down every Why day are you doing that wrong? just for toilet paper. And the good news is there are great alternatives out there that don't require chopping down a single tree. So, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna look at a bunch of those alternatives to figure out which is the softest and that we like the best, figure out what the best price per square is, if you have a square to spare find out if we like the environmental aspect, if there's a give back that we like, if it's plastic free. And we're gonna look at all of these factors and determine what our favorite eco-friendly toilet paper is. There are two different kinds of eco-friendly toilet paper. There is recycled toilet paper and there's toilet paper made out of bamboo. And there's a lot of debate on which is better. One uses post-consumer recycle bits and pieces of trees that are already chopped down and one is growing bamboo that requires less water than hardwood and produces more great oxygen for our planet. So both are really good alternatives and we're just going to figure out what we like the best. So let's go over the contenders, okay? First up, since Belle's handing this to me, is Real. Real is 100% bamboo and it's a subscription. You order it online. Next up we have this one. Who gives a crap? What? Why are you laughing? It's a bad word, but their marketing is hilarious. And they make, interestingly enough, both recycled toilet paper and bamboo toilet paper. And this kind, as you can see, there's a feet on there. It comes with a whole bunch of these, so you can like stack them to make castles, and you can also that. make humans. That's right. So who gives a crap has some extra bonuses. Let me see this other two. We've got, oh, we've got a third subscription service. Move up the way, it's called Number Two. And it's bamboo. Now I get it, Number Two. Uh, <laughs> oh, I get it, and, Number Two. And finally, we've got two um, seventh generation that you can find at your grocery store. One is unbleached and one is white, but it is not white with bleach. So those are our contenders. What we're gonna do first is figure out which one we like the feel of the best. Each member of the Boomer Shines, including Dad, <laughs> is gonna rank these in order of favorite to, to least favorite. This is really so easy with children. And then after that, we're gonna look at price and other variables that will, that will help us decide which of these toilet papers we're gonna use as a family going forward, okay? <laughs> Okay, so let's do this. So what I want you to do is take these six rolls of toilet paper and order them in order of preference. What you like the best to what you like the least. disclaimers before we really get into the nitty-gritty we're comparing six because these are the six that I could easily get there's other eco-friendly toilet papers and honestly everyone who's making an eco-friendly toilet paper is awesome in their own way so there's more that we could and probably should compare and maybe we'll do that next time but this is what we have and this is what we're running with also I think since I got this reel back before quarantine they've actually come out with 
a three ply bamboo toilet paper. So the next time we do this, we will do real again with their new and improved toilet paper. But this is what we have right now. And finally, any eco-friendly toilet paper is awesome. So much better than virgin pulp toilet paper, which nobody's butt is that special. So we're gonna figure out what works best for our family and what we're gonna do, and you should figure out what works best for yours, but this is what we do when we try to find out our favorite. Okay, in terms of what we like best, seventh generation bleached, followed by seventh generation unbleached, which isn't bleached, but it's white versus unbleached. And then number two, bamboo, came in third. Real, who gives a crap bamboo and who gives a crap, crap recycled were the bottom three. Now that the results are in on what we like the best, we're gonna look at all the other factors, like what's best for the environment and what's best for our pocketbook. And I'm throwing in a few other criteria too, um, just to really research. Going forward, I'm gonna do the scoring a little bit differently. The best gets the lowest score and the worst gets the highest score. And whichever of these guys comes out with the lowest score will be our winner. So next up, we're gonna factor environmental, what's best for our planet. There's lots of debate on whether recycled is better or bamboo is better. Both have pros and cons. Ultimately, I think that recycled is probably better for our planet, but bamboo is really good too. So what I'm gonna do here is the recycled ones are gonna get one point and the bamboo ones are gonna get two. Trying to figure out what's best for our wallet was a little tricky. Um, because the rolls are all different size. Some of them are single rolls, some of them are double rolls. So what I did is I looked at the price per sheet and I also looked at what it would cost to get 24 rolls of whatever it is. Without coupons, without discounts for subscriptions, just the straight up max price for 24 rolls. And then I calculated the price per sheet and I'm gonna rank all of these from the cheapest price per square to the most expensive price per square. Next, I wanna look at which of these toilet paper companies have a give back, meaning that they have a charitable arm, they're donating to something to make the world a better place. And interesting, every single one of them but number two has a really clear charitable mission statement on their website. So I'm not really sure how to grade that, but I'm gonna give number two two extra points for, you know, not, not giving back. And while we're talking about socially conscious companies, from my research, I found that Seventh Generation and Who Gives a Crap are both B Corps, and I love B Corps. So um, just extra bonus shout out to those two companies. Next up, I want to factor in the use of single-use plastic. I really like companies that figure out how to ship their product free of, of plastic. And all of them are doing that but seventh generation that is still wrapping their toilet paper in plastic, which is a total bummer. Again, not sure how to score that, but plastic's a big bummer to me. So I'm gonna give seventh generation a plus three because mm -hmm. And finally, the last factor that I wanna take into consideration is whether or not these companies are female or minority founded or co-founded. And interestingly enough, two of them are. I'm not sure the most scientific way to scale this, but I'm going to give everybody who's not female or minority founded an extra point. And the two that are, which is real and number two, get zero points. So the results are in and they're super interesting. Our winner, not what I expected. It's the grocery store brand, 7th Generation. You can get it online or at your grocery store. And the regular, um, it's not bleach, it's this guy. This right here was our winner. It's whitened without chlorine bleach. So I said bleach, but it's not bleached, uh, which is a problem. But this is our number one winner. And tied for second is their unbleached version and who gives a crap recycled. So those two are tied for second and third place is real. And I'm really still curious about real because they're doing a lot of things right and they've improved their product. So I'm gonna get another 
batch of that and I'm gonna test that next and if there's anything else you think we should test um, pop it in the comments below and we'll try um, this again with a new round of options and contenders before we started this I would have thought that number two would have been my my clear choice winner it's super soft and I love that you can get a, um, a naked roll meaning there's no wrapper on it so and but you can get wrappers and they're super cute it's female founded but it doesn't have a give back and it was expensive the winners the seventh generation are awesome they're super soft and they're available at a grocery store which is super convenient I however really prefer a subscription toilet paper so I don't have to lug toilet paper through the grocery store and I was really impressed with how the subscription toilet paper companies handled the chaos of quarantine we never ran out of toilet paper they honored all their subscribers so I will never be without a subscription toilet paper again one more thing that I didn't factor in was was where the toilet papers are manufactured and this is a big one for me and I didn't initially factor it in because I couldn't figure out where they were all made but I just did some additional research and as I can figure all of them except for seventh generation are manufactured in China uh, I'm huge on American made manu manufactured products it's really important to me uh, and seventh generation is made here in the States it says so on the packaging it doesn't say so on their website but it does on their packaging so thank you seventh generation if you weren't already the clear winner you're the super clear winner now so the only ding I have against seven generation is this plastic wrapper I do not like and I wish I could get a subscription you can order it in a subscription form from Amazon however if there's a shortage like there was this spring you're not protected like you are with a um, who gives a crap subscription if I could buy seventh generation in a box without plastic it would be like the runaway winner but alas the plastic dings it and I'm probably gonna stick with who gives a crap it's made in China and it's Australian based company so that's ironic oh okay real I need your new and improved version to be better perfect solution yet well thanks for following along on our crazy little experiment to upgrade our toilet paper um, the bottom line is these are all great options figure out what works for you if you prefer recycled or bamboo or if you want to buy it at the grocery store or have a subscription that ships it to your house just don't buy virgin toilet paper anymore we know better we know that it is destroying our environment and habitats and there is no reason that 27,000 trees a day should be chopped down to wipe our butts. So pick one, do your part, upgrade your toilet paper and make the world a better place. One potty stop at a time. <laughs> I can't believe I'm talking about toilet paper. Anyway, there you have it. Thanks for watching. And if you like this crazy experiment, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below what other toilet papers we should look at in our hunt for the perfect eco-friendly toilet paper. Are you tired of talking about toilet paper? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, we're done. Any parting words about toilet paper? I got a joke. What's your joke? Come give us a joke. Why did the girl bring toilet paper to the party? Why did she bring toilet paper to the party? Because she was a party pooper. <laughs>